So, like an amoeba, my empire is surrounding Persia to eventually destroy it. Uh, Craig M. Oliver here is doing a fine job, but he only has one city. And I decided that because he is too near me, and because he finished the Great Library, I think one or two turns ago, that it's in my best interest for winning this game to surround him, wipe him out, take his business, and try to have control. Because look, I'm butt-ended here. There's city-state and city-state. There might be land down here. Because of that tundra, I suspect that there isn't too much. Yeah, the bottom of the map is probably down here somewhere. So there likely isn't anything past here. Maybe another city-state. And while there might be land up here, I'll bet this kind of peters out. Because I see some water here too. Uh, the result of that would be that if I just take this whole butt end of this continent, or this island, I'll be in pretty good shape. Plus, he's built a great library and some other nice stuff. So, by finishing the pyramids just now, you see I have a surplus of workers, and already I produce a lot. Partly because of my expanded borders and my early second city. So I'm going to try now, I have decent happiness, to build another settler. i got to figure out what I'm going to build next, but I'm going to build a settler soon. Try to sneak it all the way over here, because then it'll fill this blob in, and then I'm set. I really don't want him to get it. So how can I achieve that? I do need to protect these workers, so I almost should build one more military unit. First, let's see what's up here. Do a little more exploring. Oh, there's good stuff up there, and I don't see any people yet. Good spots for cities. I could have brought this guy back around to defend, but I think I want him to find a hut so he can upgrade on his own. I remain in the lead, but it is a little bit of a false measure in that this heuristic, this positional heuristic of who is winning based on points is a bit shoddy. And because I'm the Shoshone, I start with a little bit of an advantage in that I basically get twice as much land for every new city I found. So in the very early game, I'll have a significantly inflated score here. Uh, it also lets my cities grow faster, at least in the very, very beginning, which again, also inflates my score. So I am doing very well, but I'm by no means necessarily the leader. Uh, as you can see in the demographics, my science is kind of bupkis. And in fact, Persia here has the best science of anyone. And otherwise, I'm number one in everything, mostly because of my Shoshone bonuses. So I have to capitalize on that. My encirclement and eventual destruction strategy here for Persia is going very well. You can see that I am only one turn away from getting my free settler. Now, if this were a larger map or a longer game, I'd probably go here first. Because the Golden Age would boost some other stuff. I'm going to be going more quickly, and it would reduce the culture cost of then building a bunch of settlers. So I'm going to go here, then here, then here, but I'm going to finish this track out. So I get the free settler, and I'm going to immediately send that settler over here and settle in that awesome area I keep talking about. So now I'll have surrounded Persepolis, and then this guy will move back around this way to make sure that he doesn't come in and settle over here. He'll be forced to settle up this way, hopefully conflicting with other civilizations. I see uh, Egypt peeking peeking right there but uh, I am very sorry Persia but I pretty much am going to take you out and the main reason for that is that I want to get a very early advantage it does not look like you have a significant military based on what I've seen and your city is relatively small you built the great library early when I play against humans anyone who builds the great library that early is usually completely effed on everything else so because you built the great library isn't that it hanging out there uh, that's the main reason I'm going after you. So, I have pushed in my research the wheel because you can see that I've already preloaded. I'm going into mathematics next to get catapults, and I'm going to then build catapults, and both these cities are building spearmen. I am building my minimal army because I do not think it'll take very much to take Persepolis outright. So this guy is here primarily just to make sure... That you, don't, that you feel intimidated and will not send a settler over this way. If you send a settler up here, well, again, then you're running afoul of Egypt. You're basically bottled in. Your only choice, because you see this guy here, is to move off this way. So my goal is to get the city out here relatively quickly and have this guy swing around. If I see your settler, 
I'm going to declare war. That, that's just how it's going to go. All right. As for the rest of these guys, let's keep making the city awesome. And that is one, two, three. That's within range. I want this city to grow. I'm going to get this guy closer because I actually want to start building up stuff over actually next to the city. This guy, I want him to keep exploring. I'd love to find another hut, but it's not likely I'm going to find one.